Television footage taken from a helicopter shows the wreckage of the spacecraft scattered in California's Mojave Desert. Local authorities say the co-pilot was killed while the pilot ejected and was hospitalized with serious injuries. This was a pure test. This was not a public event. So uh, I will tell you from my eyes and my ears, I detected nothing that appeared abnormal. I know I was briefed that the, the plume would look different this time than it had in the past, uh, and it did. Virgin Galactic said the vehicle's first manned test experienced a serious anomaly. The company's owner, British billionaire Richard Branson, was hoping to start space tourist travel within the next few months. Uh, I can say that uh, Richard Branson is on his way. Um, he's flying now to, uh, to Mojave, and we expect he'll be here by tomorrow morning. Space is hard, and uh, today was a tough day. Spaceship Two was launched by carrier aircraft White Knight Two Friday morning from a location in the desert. Soon after it separated from the carrier, it crashed to the ground. Some 800 people have reserved seats to fly into suborbit. The rocket was carrying more than two tons of water, food, and equipment to the International Space Station. All of it was lost in the crash. Orbital's two earlier space flights for NASA were successful, and the space flight industry refuses to let adversities stop its progress. It's a setback, a short-term setback, but Orbital, they have uh, still four more launches to go to the International Space Station, and, uh, and we anticipate those to be a huge success. It is clear, though, that Orbital Corporation will suffer financial losses. In addition to losing a spacecraft, the company's only launch pad in Virginia has been damaged. NASA has a contract with another private firm, California-based SpaceX Corporation, whose vehicle is scheduled to send cargo to space station in December. Larissa Hoke, VOA News, Washington.